So in order for your body to function properly and without pain, it needs lubrications in some areas of your body. Take, for example, a female who would like to have intercourse with their spouse. Uh, their body natu naturally produces a lubricant, but in the case of Sjogren's patients like myself and maybe you, we have to use external lubricants in order to make that part of our body function properly. This is the same sort of thing with our mouth, mouth and throat. Our mouth produces saliva and uh, it coats our esophagus and that saliva helps to get the food and water down our esophagus without getting stuck. However, as you and I know, uh, as Sjogren's patients, we deal with severe dryness, lack of saliva, lack of lubrication, and this can cause things like choking on your food and water, uh, biting the insides of your cheeks or your tongue, um, and not being able to like move the food from the front of your mouth to the back of your to the back of your mouth to even swallow it. And so in addition to that, you might be sitting here being like, but Heather, like I choke on water, like this individual that reached out. Um, it is possible to choke on water. And the way that my body has experienced it with my Sjogren's, I do have a small amount of saliva that still produces in my mouth, but it's like a thick sludge. Like it's not, it's so viscous. It's like molasses. Like it's the consistency of molasses. That's what my spit is. And so, um, trying to get things down my mouth even if it's water if it's being mixed with this like molasses type consistency it can get really hard to get down there and it can get stuck and then it causes you to choke and so the, anyways that's my experience like with my own body my own saliva and like the choking hazards that i live with day to day i'm interested to hear if anybody else in our community has similar experiences uh gg reached out to drop this comment so feel free to drop your experience in the comments